welcome to this video. A quick shout out to my subscribers. We made 1000. If you're here for the first time, feel free to do the same. Like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Today we are constructing an ellipse given a major axis equal to 125 millimeters and a minor axis equal to 70 millimeters. And we are going to use the trammel method. Draw a horizontal and vertical axis. Along the horizontal axis, mark off your major axis, which is 62.5 millimeters on either side to give you 125 millimeters. And on the vertical axis, mark off 35 millimeters up and below to give you the total minor axis of 70 millimeters. We are now going to get a piece of paper with a straight edge and this is going to work as our trammel. On your trammel, mark off a reference point I'm going to call A. Measure half of the major axis to a point I'm going to call B. So this will give you AB as half of the major axis. From the same reference point, you are going to measure half of the minor axis. To, to the point C. So length SC is going to be half of the minor axis. Mark off random points along the vertical axis. This could be equidistant or not. These are the points that are going to help you come up with the ellipse while we're using the trammel method. We are now going to determine the points of the ellipse. This is how we do it. Make sure that whenever B is touching the vertical axis, C is touching the horizontal, and under that condition is when you can mark off point A. So you're going to do that as B slides along the points you've marked, downwards and upwards. Please endeavor to ensure that your point A is always on the outer part that you use to mark off the ellipse and that point B goes through the vertical axis while point, point C goes through the horizontal. After you have marked off all the points, using freehand, you join them 
to get the ellipse. And that's how you construct an ellipse using the Trammell method. Thanks for watching.